so hi everyone now let's see the instruction lda 16 bit address for this instruction what is upcode so you know that in the instruction the first part it is known as upcode and the remaining part is known as operand so in this instruction the upcode is lda and the operand is 16 bit address what is the byte of this instruction byte of the instruction means that what is the size of that instruction if in the instruction no data is present it means that instruction is of one byte if in the instruction 8 bit value is present it means that instruction is of two byte and if the instruction 16 bit value is present it means that instruction is of three byte so you can see that in this instruction 16 bit value is present it means this instruction is of 3 byte now what is the meaning of 3 byte instruction 3 byte instruction means that when this instruction is stored in the memory it will occupy 3 memory locations it will occupy 3 byte you know that one memory location can store 1 byte means 8 bit of data and the address of one location is 16 bit it is represented in the hexadecimal if you convert into binary you will get 16 bit so address is of 16 bit and the storage capacity of one location is 8 bit machine circle we are going to see a bit later let's first see the meaning of the instruction now lda 16 bit address it means load data to accumulator from 16 bit address of memory location okay so let's see one example for example it is lda 4000h so what is the meaning of lda 4000h lda 4000h means that load data to accumulator from 4000h memory location in 4000h memory location how much data is stored 8 bit data okay so you can see that before the execution of this instruction in the accumulator 44h is present after the execution what will happen that data which is stored in the 4000h will be transferred to the accumulator so in the accumulator previously 44h was present it will be overwrite and in the accumulator the new value will be 49h okay so this is the example of this instruction uh, what is the flag of this instruction because this instruction is data transfer instruction in the data transfer instruction no flags are affected now let's see the machine cycle to understand machine cycle you have to understand every process of particular instruction so let's see what are the steps which is done by microprocessor when this instruction is executed. So suppose LDA 4000H is the example. Now when you program the microprocessor, when you give this LDA 4000H to the microprocessor, in the memory this instruction will be stored from the starting location. Now because this instruction is of 3 byte it means this one instruction will occupy 3 memory location so in the first location LDA will be there in the second location 00H and in the third location 40H so you can see that when we give this instruction to the microprocessor in the memory this instruction will be st stored from the starting location after the instruction is stored, the processor will start doing its process, which is fetch, record, and execute. So it will start fetching all the instructions from the starting location. So to fetch the first LDA, to fetch the upward, it has to execute upward fetch machine cycle. After up upward fetch machine cycle is done, only LDA is read by the microprocessor these two values are remaining to read this whole instruction just upcode fetch machine is not sufficient so the microprocessor has to memory read this next location and again microprocessor has to perform the memory read machine cycle so you can understand that 
to read this instruction processor has to perform three machine cycles that is upcode fetch memory read and memory read after this after these three machine cycles are performed this whole instruction is transferred to the microprocessor so instruction is fetch now instruction is fetch the processor will decode the instruction after decode the instruction processor will execute now what are the steps which is happening in the execution when processor will execute this instruction the data from the 4000 edge will be transferred to the accumulator it means to transfer the data from the memory to the accumulator processor has to perform one more machine cycle which is memory read it means for the lda 4000 edge instruction four machine cycles are required of code fetch memory read memory read and memory read okay and this is it for this instruction okay students now let's see the sta 16 bit address instruction you know that for this instruction the first part is stl and the remaining part is 16 bit address stl it is up code the first part of the instruction is up code the remaining part is open so 16 bit address is open what is the byte of the instruction you know that this instruction contains 16 bit value it means it is a 3 byte instruction you also know that 3 byte instruction means that when this instruction is stored in the memory it will occupy three memory locations means three bytes machine cycle we are going to see a bit later let's first see the meaning sta 16 bit address what it means it means store data from accumulator to 16 bit address of memory location so sta 16 bit address means store data from accumulator to memory location that is 16 bit let's see one example example is sta 4000h before the execution you can see that in the accumulator some 8 bit data is present which is 44h and we are executing this instruction that is sta 4000h sta 4000h means store data from accumulator to memory location which memory location 4000h so when this instruction is executed the data which is present in the accumulator will be transferred to the 4000h memory location so in this memory location the data will be 44h now the data is always copy and transfer so after the execution in the accumulator the data will remain a copy of the data will remain what is the flag of this instruction so when this instruction is executed before it is a because it is a data transfer instruction no flags are affected now let's see the main part which is machine cycle you know that to understand machine cycle we have to understand each and every process when this instruction is executed okay so when you give sta 4000h in the memory this instruction will be stored from the starting location now this instruction is of 3 byte you know that when we give this instruction in the memory three memory locations will be occupied so in the first location of code will be stored that is lda in the next address lower byte value is stored and in the next address higher byte value is stored so you can see that one instruction is stored in the three memory locations now processor will start doing its process which is fetch decode and execute it will first fetch the up code so from the starting location it will first fetch the up code that is known as up code fetch now when up code fetch is done this whole instruction is not fetched yet to fetch the whole instruction processor has to read this two memory locations too it means after up code fetch after fetching the lda to read the whole instruction processor has to perform two more machine cycles which is memory read and memory read so you can understand that 
to read this whole instruction processor has to perform three machine cycles which is upload fetch memory read and memory read so after three machine cycles are performed this whole instruction will be transferred to the microprocessor after this instruction is transferred the processor will decode and after decoding into an execute now what is the process is happening during the execution when the processor is executing this instruction data which is present in the accumulator it is transferred to the memory it means can we say that that data is transferred from the accumulator to memory it means the processor has performed the memory write operation it means during the execution one more machine cycle is performed by the microprocessor which is memory write so how many machine cycles of code fetch plus memory read memory read and memory write okay so this is it for this instruction